It's Cobain. I'm here to answer some questions from Sound for the Future. Let's get this started. I love you, 508. My name's Cobain, or Cam. I do a lot of shit in Brooklyn. Um, I'm an artist, producer, photographer. I do events, all of that. Um, right now, more on the music side, just trying to get everything popping, trying to make it out the hood type shit, you feel me? So that's what we got going on. Honestly, if I feel like when my uncle introduced me to Childish Gambino and Jay-Z and all them other artists he was listening to and Kendrick at the time, yeah, that inspired me to start writing music and doing all that other stuff. So. I started, I did my first song 2019, so, but I started writing stuff when I was like young as hell, but if I didn't do that, if that part of the life didn't happen, I don't think I'd be making music right now, real shit. I don't think it's going down, I feel like a lot of stuff evolved, just like how Bino was before and how he is now, it's not the same person, so I'm not really too into the new stuff more than I am to the old stuff, mm -hmm. but... I feel like everybody evolves. I feel like it's better. Opens up to new audiences. And I think it just works as an artist to always just keep trying to break the barrier do some new stuff. Um, shit. Oh, I did that project last, I started it last year. I always wanted to do like an R&B Afro project. So I was home. I think I got fired from my last job. I was home. Mad shit was going on. Last relationships and all that other stuff was going on. So I just said, let me lock in and start making stuff. So started getting the beats together, started making it. Um, but mostly that project is just stories from other people from different perspectives other than mine. That's why I call it from the other side. Some of them is from mine. Some of them is like how your girl would see it if you doing something crazy. So it's like it's some stuff like that. It's like Toxic Attraction, something like that. Kodak. I feel like Kodak is more like a, a broader horizon. So I feel like more relatable, but it's not a intentional story behind it but it's relatable in a sense to everybody but that project does hold a lot to me because it does keep a lot of emotion escape a lot of songs on there is just to the heart and I actually wrote most of that project I don't really write for real. so yeah because I don't really like speaking about my emotions for real um, I think I use the music as the outlet to really get everything I need to get out um, either direct indirectly or just making up a story to cope with whatever I'm going on at the time so I feel like I use that just to express myself. I feel like I'm most of the songs are very relatable, so I try to put out as much relatable shit as I can. So most of the stuff is real life situations. Some of them I make up, but most of it is just me for the most part. Uh, music scene as a whole, New York. <clears throat> drill wave, I wasn't really too fond on. I did do a couple drill songs though. Just had to do it just for content wise or whatever. But I feel like every aspect of New York is different music wise from the Bronx to Brooklyn. But most of my time I've been in Brooklyn and most of my friends are artists from Brooklyn. So I've only really, I feel like it's different in a, in a sense from other places, but I feel like we have our own swag to it. Shit. Not amounting to what I want to be or get into the places that I want to get to before that time is up. That's pretty much it. But that's what I was saying. The only thing is consistency and trying to keep motivated and keeping everything going. So I got to do that with myself so I can prevent that fear from coming true. The people I hang around, we're all, everybody I hang around is mostly a creative. So producer, artist, photographer, something. So everybody's ideas is always bouncing back and forth from each other. Studio sessions, we're always getting something done. So I feel like that keeps me motivated to do what I got to do. The consistency and pushing out content as much as I should be. Because I have content, I just don't put it out, I guess, in the fear of not getting it seen or not getting it heard, but I have to break out of that because if I don't do it, then it ain't going to do nothing for me. So I think consistency and motivation is probably the Yes and no. So, like, I have certain songs where I don't want to shoot, I don't really want to drop until I do the video that I want to do it for. Mm -hmm. Like, I got songs that I want a specific video that I have set in mind, but we don't got budget to do it, so we just going to, well, I ain't going to drop it. So I feel like that, but I do shoot stuff. So then again, it's like, if I don't like the content, then I'm not gonna put a song out. So it's just one or the other. I like to perform, that's one. I did, ran a couple shows a year ago, um, hosted, performed that, and I just did one a month ago. Um, I try to interact as much as possible. I really, uh, I don't like, I don't know how it is. Like I have to be, even when I'm in a certain mindset, then I'm just, connect with the crowd, try to do as much as I can. 
It depends on the songs I'm performing too. I have to, if I perform a certain set list, then it gotta be something I could like, everybody's gonna vibe out too. So I try to make everything different. So everybody got a taste of something that if they don't like it, they don't like it and I got stuff if you like it. So success for me, I would say being in a way better position than I am now, but I'm not looking for over like overly hyped fame, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just like enough where I can move my moms out, everybody in my life situated, that's the success for me. As long as I can take care of everybody in my circle and whoever I'm with, that's I'm good with that. I like to put people on, man. I like to share the bread, break it up with everybody. Can't be the only one I go up. And I want that to be something to be remembered by so everybody else could do the same thing. Because I feel like people go up and they just forget everybody. So that and maybe just work ethic, work, work ethic recording-wise. Because I, I record a lot. So I do like eight a night if I had to. So yeah, I'd be out there. So that's probably what my friends would tell you. The work ethic and how fast I make music and how good it, or the quality comes out for it. Stuff like that. I'd probably say independent for a little bit. Have more control of what I want to do. I feel like when you sign, you're on a set schedule, set budget on what you got to get done. And then if stuff flops, you got to reap the repercussions for that too. So it's like, I feel like I'd rather stay independent, have that creative freedom in what I want to do and build a team out from there. I feel like that'd be the better option for me. Oblivion, that I have no idea what the sound for is like. It's like, I can't really describe it. It's... Yeah, I can't describe how it is. It's very dark, though. Like, dark and grunge, I guess. That's how you could... I don't know how to describe it. But it's stuff like that. Um, I got a couple of songs on that. Uh, I do have a song coming out Friday. Save Me. I posted on my store on my Instagram, so you gotta check that out, too. Any other projects? I got an unreleased project I might just drop on SoundCloud or some shit. I did it, like, two years ago. Literally my favorite project I've ever done. Top to bottom. But we can't get it done because the producer just went MIA. So that's just stuck into the thing. So it's probably, I'll probably drop that on SoundCloud, though. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this year. I don't really got nothing lined up, lined up for the rest of the year, or like for next year, though. Keep going. Don't stop. I got to learn that shit for myself, too. You don't know who watching. Anybody, literally anybody could be watching. I've, made, I've come across so many opportunities just by posting shit. So just keep going. You never know when that day is going to come around. I love you 508.